Today we delve into a personal journey, a journey I made of journaling every day for a month and the important lessons learned along the way. The idea for this adventure came from a simple challenge at the start of 2024, a challenge to create and maintain mini habits instead of setting grand new year's resolutions. In this case, the mini habit was journaling, a simple act of putting pen to paper each day, recording thoughts, feelings, and experiences. But as we'll discover, this seemingly simple act holds a depth that goes beyond the surface. So buckle up as we embark on this journey and uncover the truths about journaling. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. As with any new habit, journaling wasn't all smooth sailing. Let's talk about the challenges encountered. Now, embarking on this journey of journaling like any other was ridden with hurdles. Consistency proved to be a tough nut to crack. The routine of writing every day was disrupted by the mundane things we all face. Tiredness, illness, and sometimes just the sheer lack of motivation. Despite setting aside time each night, I found it challenging to stick to the routine when down with a cold or when my sleep was disrupted. And let's not forget the guilt. That nagging feeling when you miss a day, it's almost as if you've betrayed your own commitment. A challenge indeed, but one that was not insurmountable. Yet, despite these challenges, the journey continued and the rewards became apparent. Now, let's dive into the heart of it all, the scientific benefits of journaling. You might be thinking, how can jotting down thoughts in a notebook have such profound effects? Well, science has some fascinating answers. Firstly, let's talk about mental health. Research shows that journaling can significantly improve our state of mind. A study published in the journal Advances in Psychiatric Treatment found that writing about emotional experiences can reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. It's like having a personal therapist on paper helping you process your feelings at your own pace. Next, let's touch on mindfulness. A study in the Journal of Clinical Psychology revealed that journaling can increase mindfulness by promoting focus on the present moment. It's about taking a break from the digital noise and creating space for self-reflection. When you're fully engaged in writing, you're truly in the moment and that's where mindfulness lives. Also, this isn't just anecdotal evidence from my point of view, it's backed by science. The Journal of Experimental Psychology published a study showing that individuals who journaled before bed had a better quality of sleep. The act of writing down worries and to-do lists before sleep can free up cognitive resources, allowing for a more restful night. Moreover, I experienced a boost in creativity. Researchers at the University of Texas found that the act of writing can literally clear your mind, enabling the brain to tackle problems from new angles. Journaling provides a playground for your thoughts where ideas can swing, slide, and seesaw until they form something beautiful. Last but not least, I observed a positive change in my communication skills. Journaling can help here too by improving your ability to articulate thoughts and feelings. A study from the University of Iowa found that expressive writing can enhance communication skills, making us more effective in expressing our thoughts and feelings to others. As the evidence shows, journaling isn't just a hobby, but a tool for wellness. Beyond the science, journaling offers personal gains that make it worth the effort. It's a journey of self-discovery, a voyage into the depths of one's thoughts and feelings. But let's not just dwell on abstracts, let's bring in some real-life experiences. Consider the story of a writer friend of mine who embarked on a month-long journaling adventure. He also found that journaling had a cathartic effect, almost therapeutic, and it was like having a personal confidant, a silent listener to all his thoughts and emotions. He discovered that pouring his feelings onto paper helped alleviate anxiety. It was like a weight had been lifted off his shoulders, leaving him lighter, more at peace. Moreover, my writer friend found that journaling was a great motivational tool. It served as a mirror, reflecting his progress, struggles, and triumphs. Seeing his thoughts written down gave him a new perspective on his goals and the steps he was taking to achieve them. It was not just a record of his journey, but a roadmap guiding him forward. He also found that journaling was particularly helpful after significant events. It provided a space for reflection, for understanding the impact of these events on his life. 
It helped him analyze his reactions, his feelings, and plan his next steps. It was almost like having a personal life coach guiding him through his life journey. So, you see, journaling goes beyond recording daily events. It's a tool for self-reflection, for understanding oneself better. It's a way to navigate through the labyrinth of our minds, to understand our fears, our hopes, our dreams. It's a way to motivate ourselves to keep pushing forward even when the going gets tough. Thus, journaling can be a personal sanctuary, a refuge for our thoughts, and a catalyst for motivation. So, after a month of journaling every day, what's the verdict? It turns out, journaling doesn't have to be a daily activity to be effective. Yes, you heard it right. The benefits of journaling don't necessarily hinge on the frequency, but rather the consistency and intentionality behind it. Over the past month, journaling has been a journey of self-discovery and growth. It's been a tool for enhancing creativity and communication, a stress reliever, and even a sleep aid on those restless nights. The challenges were real, from tiredness to guilt, but every hurdle was an opportunity for self-improvement. The key was not to let setbacks derail the journey. Instead, it was about getting back on track as soon as possible. Journaling proved to be an exercise in perseverance, self-discipline, and even resilience. It offered a new perspective on life, a fresh lens through which to view personal experiences, thoughts, and feelings. In the end, the journey of journaling proved to be not just a challenge, but a rewarding experience. Now that you've heard about this journey, maybe it's time to start your own. The world of journaling is a vast one, full of self-discovery and personal growth. It's a chance to converse with your innermost thoughts, to become your own confidant. Don't feel pressured to journal every single day. The key is consistency, not frequency. You can start small, perhaps just a few minutes each evening, and gradually build up from there. Consider starting your journaling journey after a significant event in your life. It could be the end of a relationship, the start of a new job, or even just the beginning of a new month. These moments of transition can provide fertile ground for reflection and introspection. Or why not make journaling your new mini habit? Just like I did, you can set aside a few minutes each day to jot down your thoughts. You might be surprised at how quickly it becomes a part of your routine. And remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Don't worry if you miss a day or two. What matters is that you pick up that pen and get back on track. Who knows what you might discover about yourself in the pages of your journal? As we wrap up this journey, remember that every new habit comes with its challenges and rewards. We've journeyed through the highs and lows of journaling every day for a month, and what an enlightening experience it's been. From those initial struggles to form a habit battling with tiredness, guilt, or even a pesky cold, to the eventual victory of consistency, the journey has been nothing short of transformative. We delved into the science, revealing how journaling can enhance mindfulness, alleviate anxiety, and even boost our creativity. We discovered that journaling isn't just about writing, it's a wellness tool, a method of reflection and planning, and a catalyst for personal growth. More importantly, we learned that it's okay to stumble, to miss a day or two. The key is not to let setbacks derail us, but to get back on track as soon as possible. Journaling, like life, is a journey, not a destination. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below and share your own journaling experiences. Your journey could inspire others. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to know what happens to your body when you stop eating fast food, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.